saw this on uh, Chief Talk. He's done this house. He's trying to step this brick ledge, and um, he has a basement with just a like a ranch above it. And uh, so anyway, I thought I'd um, show him what to do here. It'll only take a few seconds. <clears throat> um, when you look at this house, it's just a basement and a ranch with brick. And he, what he wants, I believe, is to step this brick down and maybe have it lower back here, whatever. And you could do it like this, take the three key and break this right here and drag it down. But see what happens? It, it doesn't work. So this is how I would do it. You need to, first of all, look at this wall. Brick four. And you have three inches for the brick, one inch for airspace, Tyvek, and seven sixteenths. Four and seven sixteenths. Then you got three and a half here. Okay, total wall is eight and seven sixteenths. But really, what we're going to do is line up here with this, and then what we need to worry really about is this right over here, 4 and 7 sixteenths. The other thing I'm going to do is to change this brick depth here to 0 for now. It, you don't have to do that, but it'll make your section look a little better. Then we're going to go down, and we're going to open this wall, and we're going to make it a pony wall. And we'll put the top 8-inch concrete step wall, and then we'll modify this. And we will create a copy and we will name it um, plus brick. And we'll come down here and we will insert above, move up, and we will make this three like the brick and insert below and we'll make this one and seven sixteenths. This will be opening no material. Go to your plan materials, just type an O. It'll jump down, opening no material. And change this to solid, use background color. And then change this to um, your red brick three, which is what your wall was um, right here, red three brick. And change the fill on that to, to um, maybe two inches and then change it to and turn it 45. Change the color to something else like red like that. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now, oh, I, I didn't change this, did I? This should be four. And then align inner surface. Okay, there's your new wall. Now you can adjust this too, but let's just leave it at 40. Say you wanted it to drop that much across there, so just put it at 36. And then we can do an elevation of this view. And in this view here, let's just take a look at this in, in 3D. Yeah, your brick is kind of weird, but it, it looks like it's right. Vector view. Yeah, you can see the line there, but um, I don't. I think there there's no offset or anything. So anyway, um, you can click on this wall right here, and so you get a dimension now. So let's just say you take your three key and you break it right here, and you pull this up, and you might just tab and. Hit 0 on the X and 12 on the Y. There you go. And then hit your 3 key and break it again. Mm -hmm. Grab this and maybe make it 12. Nope, 0. And 12. Take your 3 key and maybe break it one more time here. You get the picture, I'm sure. And there you go. And that's how you would step your brick ledge. And if you look in 3D, it looks pretty good. Now we got this little corner is a problem. If you go down, um, no, I got multiple things open here. If you go right here 
and you click on this wall and you hit this uh, edit wall layer intersections it looks like it should work so then try this one see this doesn't go all the way so just drag it all the way to the end let's look at it here yeah so there's your problem but um, no guarantee so it's not lining up even right there for oh because I pulled it to the brick um, so edit huh command Z if you hit the F9 here you can see that your brick is lining up right with your brick below and your foundations are all lined up so that's good I would click on this wall here and edit this and pull this brickwork right to the corner. Now, if you look at it, now it looks pretty good. So that's how you should do your step brick ledge. Hope the little video here helps.